Hi, welcome to the Geeks for Geeks. Today we are dealing with the problem of printing of Pascal triangle. So in input, you will have a value of n, which is in this case is equal to 6. So basically in output, you have to print the first top six lines of the Pascal triangle. Let's see the brute force approach. So basically Pascal triangle is consist of the binomial coefficients. So for example, in this case, we have n as 5. So we have to print the five top lines of the Pascal triangle. We'll just index them from zero. So line number one will be at zeroth index. Okay. So the line at particular index will have the elements equal to index plus one. For example, for line with index two, we'll be having two plus one equal to three elements. As you can clearly see that we have three elements here, two C zero, 2c1 and 2c2 right so now how we are going to create this pascal triangle so for zeroth index line we'll have 0c0 which will calculate to 1 so this is my first line now for index 1th line we'll have two elements 1c0 and 1c1 which will be having the elements 1 and 1 similarly we'll calculate for the second index line third index line and fourth index line and we'll have our pascal triangle with top five lines. Now let's see how we are going to calculate the binomial coefficient. So what is binomial coefficient? Binomial coefficient is represented as NCR and as per the rule we know that NCR is basically equal to NCN minus R and we can utilize this fact to reduce some calculation. How we are going to do that is, for example, if my r is greater than n minus r in some instance, then we'll reinitialize r to n minus r. Let's see with this an example. Okay. So let's see we have to calculate 5c3. We know as per the rule that this is basically equal to 5c2. And so since 2 is less than 3, we just we can just calculate 5c2 and it will be equal to the 5c3 value, right? Now let's see how we are going to implement this. So for implementation, you just have to identify a pattern. See, my for 5C2, my N is 5 and my R is 2. So we'll just loop my for loop from I equal to 0 to I less than R, okay, which in this case is 2, okay. Now what we are going to do is we are going to multiply the product, the answer obtained in each iteration. And in each iteration, what we are going to do is for each iteration, my answer will be n minus i upon i plus 1. So what will happen in this case is in i equal to 0, this will become 5 minus 0 upon 0 plus 1, which is going to be 1 right so this will be basically 5 divided by 1 right now for i equal to 1th iteration what will happen this will become 5 minus 1 upon me 1 plus 1 which is basically 4 divided by 2 and this is something that we wanted let's just see if we have solved this this will become 5 factorial upon 2 factorial into 3 factorial which will evaluate to 5 into 4 into 3 factorial upon 2 into 1 into 3 factorial. This 3 factorial and 3 factorial will cancel each other out. So we are basically left with 5 into 4, 2 into 1. After some rearrangement, we can clearly see that what we have just done is basically our answer, right? So this is, if we just multiply the product obtained in i equal to 0th iteration and i equal to 1th iteration, we'll have our binomial coefficient right so this is my first approach now what will be the time complexity of our brute force approach the time complexity will going to be n cube why n cube because for every line we have to find the equal number of elements right so that will take n square amount of time and for calculating the binomial coefficient we'll have one extra for loop which is equal to n in worst case so this will be basically gives me the n cube time complexity 
and space complexity in this case is going to be constant because we do not need any auxiliary space here so let's just see the java implementation of this approach okay now we have our name which is basically um, taking n as 7 and we are calling print pascal now let's see the print pascal now in print pascal what we are doing is we are just looping from 0 to n minus 1th index and my j will be moving from 0 till i and we are just calculating the binomial coefficient and printing it once the entire line is printed we are introducing the new line now how we are going to calculate the binomial coefficient we have our n we have our r we are just checking this condition as per the rule to reduce some calculation and then we are moving our i from 0 to less than r and we are just calculating our result first we are just multiplying it with n minus i and then we are dividing it with i plus 1 right and then similar in the similar fashion we'll just calculate the entire binomial coefficient so this is how we are going to implement our brute force so let's just go with the c++ approach as well the similar approach we'll just follow a similar approach as you can clearly see we have another again we have this function binomial coefficient and we just um declaring it before and then we have this print pascal function to print the pascal triangle we have these two for loops nested for loops and then we are again calling the binomial coefficients now in binomial coefficient again we are checking for the calculation part to reduce some calculation and then we are just moving our for loop in order to calculate the binomial coefficient by just incrementing i from 0 to r minus 1 we can improve the previous approach by introducing some memoization so let's say if we have n equal to 5 we'll be creating n into n square matrix which in this case is basically 25 okay now we know for the matter of fact that nc0 and ncn is basically equal to 1 right now in 2d array this rows will represent the line and my columns will represent the elements so this will become my n for the binomial coefficient and this will become my r for the binomial coefficient so whenever my r is equal to 0 the answer will be 1 so we'll just put 1 in this column okay now when my n is equal to r then again my value will become 1 so all the diagonal elements will eventually become 1 now in order to fill the remaining cells what we have to check is for this cell the answer will be the sum of these two cells okay so 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 now for this this will be the sum of 1 and 2 which is 3 for this again this will be the sum of 1 and 2 this is 3 again for this cell this will be the sum of 1 and 3 which is 4 and this will be 3 plus 3 6 3 plus 1 4 so you will get your pascal triangle by just adding two elements which is i minus 1 j minus 1 and i minus 1 and j the sum of these two elements will basically give you the binomial coefficient of i c j right the time complexity of our improved solution will become n square because we are dealing with a 2d array and since we are having these extra 2d space so the complexity of space will increase to n square now let's just go through the java implementation of this solution so we can see clearly that what we have in our main function is we're just passing the n and we are calling the print pascal function now in print pascal function we are creating an auxiliary 2d array which is of sign n cross which is of size n cross n right now we are doing our nested loops for int i equal to 0 i less than n and j will move from 0 to less than equal to i now when my i and j is equal or my j is equal equal to 0 then my a uh, cell will have value as 1 right otherwise my cell will be equal to the value of cell i minus 1 j minus 1 and the cell i minus 1 j right and then we'll just simply print this so you can have your pascal triangle by 
just summing the previous two elements okay now let's just go through the c++ implementation of the same problem so we again have in this case 2d array okay and then we have these two nested loops again we are checking for the condition when the cell value will be equal to 1 then we are if the cell value is not equal to 1 then we are calculating it by having the sum of two elements which is i minus 1 j minus 1 and i minus 1 j then we are just simply printing the elements and hence it's done let's see the optimal approach let's see the optimal approach so we know that ncr is basically equal to n factorial upon may n minus r factorial into r factorial and we also know the value of ncr minus 1 which is basically n factorial n minus r minus 1 factorial and then r minus 1 factorial this can be rewritten as n factorial upon may n minus r plus 1 factorial and then r minus 1 factorial right now can we obtain ncr through ncr minus 1 so by evaluating these two formulas we can clearly see that my ncr can be rewritten as ncr minus 1 into n minus r plus 1 upon r right so now for first element of every line will be equal to 1 we know that why because the first element will be i c 0 which is obviously going to evaluate to 1 now if we know the value of first element can we find the element second element of each line yes we can right because if i know the value of i c 0 i can clearly use this above formula that we have just evaluated to find the value of i c 1 if we know the value of i c 1 we can clearly use this to find ic2 and similarly we can go on and find the last element of this particular line which is ici in the similar fashion let's see the time and space complexity of this approach we can easily implement this approach in n square time which is basically equal to the total line present into the elements present in each line right and the space complexity will be constant because we do not need any auxiliary memory right and the binomial coefficient can easily be calculated by previous elements right now let's see the java implementation of this optimal approach now we have this print pascal function which is taking the value of n now for every line 0 to n the first element will be c which is obviously going to be equal to 1 and we just simply print this particular c now we'll iterate for the second element which is basically indexed at 1 and we'll move till less than equal to i and we'll use this previous c to calculate the next c right and this next c will be equal to previous c into i minus j plus 1 divided by j and then we can just simply print this c and the new line will get inserted after the entire line is printed okay now let's see the c++ implementation of the same in c++ implementation we are doing the same thing what we are doing basically we are just looping for every line by and keeping our first element as equal to 1 which we are storing in c we are printing this first element then we are moving for the other elements in the line and we are just calculating the next c depending upon the previous c and print then we are printing this c and then we are inserting the new line after the entire line is printed so this is how we can create the pascal triangle in n square time with constant space thank you